Okay, hello. We're gonna go over um, a lot of different things today in this tutorial. So, um, one of the major things is organization. We'll get to that first. You want to organize your stuff so you don't lose stuff. So, over here, that's the customizing drawer plus script. Pull it out. There's a whole bunch of figures. Acetone, this paint, glue. Then we got accessories and then a custom joker in there. But you see, we keep a bag and that has all the hands. And another bag that has some shirts in there. There's titles. And then here, turnbuckles and stuff. And this that one. This one's figures. And so is this one. Okay. And then over here, I just taped a bandana down. That way if I ever need to animate some spots in here, I can just tilt that and get it in there. And there's some cards just layered up here. Yeah, some tops cards. Um, over here, just some other random stuff. Tiles that helps me elevate the shots. Selfie stick. And here we have string and rubber bands. Just to keep yourself from losing them. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Accidental movement of camera. Okay. So let's see. Let's say you're taking a pic, right? Okay, we'll take the picture, okay? Then all of a sudden, you move your hand and it just jerks the camera, right? And now, you're freaking out. Now you gotta retake a shot. So you're like really far in. Just turn up the onion skin mode. Right here on the side, you see that thing moving? Turn it up about midway. And you just gotta line up the figure. As best as you can. Take your time, don't worry, you'll get it eventually. And I'm actually going to do this until I get it, just to show you guys it's possible. Okay, so it's not... Is it moving backwards? Did I need to get it? No, moving backwards makes him go ahead, above. And the... The little fire decals in the back actually help very well, too. Just about have it. Wait. Uh, this is actually <laughs> really complicated. But eventually you can line it up just about perfect to how it was. So, let's see. Almost got it. This is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Normally it doesn't move that much. Um... Yeah, go ahead and skip to this part if you really want. Okay, yeah, but you just turn on... Actually. <laughs> okay, let's... Let's redo that. More realistic. Okay. So let's say... Take a shot, okay? Camera jerks about that much, okay? That's easily fixable when you turn up the onion skin. You go like that. And you can take a shot and two almost identical shots only one's a little blurry so there's I can't talk <laughs> there's that okay we go back okay figures falling over it's much the same 
So we're going to focus the camera, take a picture, and then all of a sudden, that happens. We all hate that, right? Turn up the onion skin, lift him almost identically where he was, and of course you're going to move them per frame. So it doesn't matter if there's a slight difference. And then just figure out how much it needs to bend. And then this foot right here. Oh, it needs to go forward. It needs to bend this a little more. And there you go. Line up. See? And then it's just a very small movement, which you can incorporate into your animation. Okay. And interruptions. Say you get notifications, okay? Let's see. My notifications are like crazy right now. Okay, you're just going to get rid of all those notifications, and then you're going to mute them after. So, hold on. Okay, there's that. All right, then you just... And there's an email. See, you get notifications. And you're going to go just into here, right? That way it doesn't take a picture while doing it. You're going to press that. There's the vibrate. You're going to turn off everything. That way it's nice and peaceful while you're doing it. Okay, next is string usage. Okay, so find a string the correct size and tie it into however you need it. I'm gonna untangle these two pieces. Okay, when this happens, I'm gonna get them tied together like that. And believe me, it just happens. You're gonna try to push the string through until you loosen it just barely enough. Take like a pencil, which is what I'm gonna do, and just poke the pencil through. And then, after a little bit, you finally get the string. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry that took too, you know, so long. Okay, so we got the figure, right? Put it under the armpits if you're making him run. Okay? Now, going from in front of the torso. If you do this. Stands pretty straight. Now if you go with the string behind the back, then it should tilt him a little bit. Tilt him forward. Hold on. See the slight tilt forward? Okay. Now when I animate, depending on where it's from and what angle. Sometimes you need two strings. Okay, so you're gonna do this. Alright, that'll be right under the neck. 
and then you're going to take that same piece of string and go right, right in the middle and pull right here and there it only takes one string to hold them like this okay but say my hand's going to be in the shot right because the string isn't long enough and then what you need to do take two strings so you get one under his feet like this hold on We got one under his feet, so now he's hanging by his head, or by his feet, with his head down. Then you're gonna put one on his head, and then even it out however you want. Okay, that's string placement. Okay, rubber bands. Okay, so we'll take these two figures, right? Say he's about to suplex him or something. DDT. Bloody Sunday, maybe. Yeah, uh, 1619. Or 1916, not 1619. Why am I dumb? Okay, so you're going to take this and just wrap it right under that shoulder and over the head. And then you can take another one. Take this arm right here and loop the arms together. Lift the arm a little bit. And then you have it like a DDT or suplex position. And then you just do string right under the feet. Like this. And I'm trying to make sure that it's flat footed when going down. And that really helps balance it out. Okay. Removing the bands, try not to break them so you can reuse them. Okay, try to keep those two bands. And we got sticky tack. Now sticky tack you cannot use on cloth mats. It just plain out doesn't work. But we go under over here. And we can take a, a chunk of sticky tack. You don't need much. It, like this should actually do. Split that in two. Take a figure. And just put sticky tack on both feet like that then you're gonna press down and it should normally support enough time for you to get a picture and it's not leaning against the wall if you're wondering so yeah sticky tack as well if you have um, a plastic uh, um, a plastic base on your ring instead of cloth then It'll do you wonders. Tape, I'm told, works well for um, cloth rings. So I got some duct tape because my scotch tape doesn't work. And I'm going to test it out. But I don't think it's going to work because of how thick the padding is. So, yeah, it doesn't work. So pretty much you always need string if you can't make them stand on there. Duct tape you can't reuse, so I wouldn't say try. Um, okay. And then, let's see. Diving. Okay, that's... That's um, a complicated one, so you're going to obviously have them diving onto someone else, so we can make them stand at the outside, alright? 
then of course you're gonna need to do running. You can watch my previous tutorial for running. I'll just start this out running instead of the normal position. Make sure my, my lights are pointing correctly. And then it, obviously when you run, you're going to swing your legs and arms opposite direction. I've never seen anyone do it in the same direction, so. Okay, then you, as the dive goes, you're gonna get the toes lined up again. And then try to like do somewhat like the jump with the um, arm movement. And then, when you see them dive, they kind of straighten out and bend their legs a little bit, right? So they're going to fall. So now, as you see him go like that, he's also going to come down as he's going through. And then you can just undo part of it, alright, stick them through the ropes, and there we go, we got that, okay, and then eventually you'll be ready to take him out of the ropes, And then, often they land on their feet while well, they're doing like suicide dives. So, you're going to straighten him out as he's about to collide with Kane. And then start to move Kane a little bit, like he's about to block it. And then, obviously they'll collide, so you can move Kane back a little bit. And then here's where Sticky Attack comes in handy. If you animate on the floor, I would highly suggest not to, because the carpet, you can't do much. And because it hurts your back bad.
Okay. And then, obviously he fell a little bit too much, but you don't want to move him that much while doing it. And then he'll land on his feet and straighten out. And then eventually the move will be done. And that looked a little unrealistic because I didn't get enough joint movement in there. Okay, it's going to be choppy right, right now. So we'll let that load and play that. So. Yeah, the the um, ending looked unrealistic for the dive through the ropes. As you can see right there. And then if you look at the frames, I might have one too many frame as he's coming out. See, these frames are way too close together. So we'll play that. And um, while you guys are at it, go ahead and comment request for tutorials. Um, I'll try to do my, the best I can. Sorry this tutorial seemed to go slow. Um, there wasn't really, <laughs> it wasn't really laid out enough. Um, and more or less I made a mistake with the, the huge jolt, you know, like, um, I went from here to that, that was not a good idea. So, made the video longer, and now we're going at 23 minutes. <laughs> okay, and then one more thing I gotta show. Okay, this is really weird, but I, I hung a ruler from right here, and hung string from there, right? So now, because of that string, I'll take that, and take punk, right? And hang him right here. Okay, I'll readjust the lamp a little bit. But now it's a whole lot easier because now I'm not balancing punk on there. That ruler with the string is. So from there you can do all the jumping. I did the jumping tutorial. And you guys can just comment some of the tutorials. And that's it for this video.